This is this is this is getting comfy already. I think this is. Uh, are we are we talking like a wedding proposition at this point? Oh, you gotta give me the ring. Then I mean, uh, I'm get working. Down on one knee. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as comfortable as I am, uh, I'm with the beautiful AJ Bunker. How are you, sweetheart? I'm really good, thank you, darling. Yeah. Really, really good. Um, so obviously, um, at this point, <laughs> I'm just thinking like we do, do, we're being very comfortable. I kind of like this I like actually. It, I, like I, like it. It. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's so much like fighting. It's nice to get yeah. some hugs around you. Yeah, actually. I'm a I'm a hugger myself. Yeah. Oh, let's have a big hug. Oh, oh, that's, you know what? That's a ten ten hug right there. Oh, was it? It was. It was. Do you know? What, do you know what it is? Yeah, one thing for me is that I'm not really a side hugger. I like to be like you know in full embrace. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is this is gonna this is gonna be like go, yeah, we'll go yeah, we'll we'll find somewhere else. I forget <laughs> this. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, I know you've been training with Luke Gross for a long time now. Uh, I've been seeing it on the Instagram. Um, you know, what made you decide that Luke Gross was the right coach for you? Like, how did it all start for you in terms of, like this boxing journey that you've been doing since Kingpin, the yeah. first fight you had? Uh, how did you find that Luke Gross was the right coach for you? So, do you know what, Luke? approached me back 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 last year when yeah. I was first originally going to do box star right. and I did have a coach at the time but he's local to me he's a Hertfordshire boy Watford boy right. so he was like do you know what if you ever need some training just come in I know you've got a coach already but if you ever need an extra pair of hands then I'm happy to just give you some extra lessons yeah. and um, we just hit it off and you know what with, with Luke it's not just he's your coach it's it's like his family now. He's like, it's like a brother, and you can't. I think you have to have that relationship with your coach. It's got to be. You got to just not just be trained by them as like a PT, but also have that rapport. Not just like being like black yeah. and white, and that's it. Go home yeah, and then come back it. again. Like you got to remember that person. You got to trust that person. Your life is in that person's hands, so you need to have that relationship and that. I don't know the respect and care and love and yeah, I get that with him and I get all the support. So that's why Luke. He's he's amazing. I absolutely yeah. adore him. Well, of course, obviously, you had your uh, had your fight with Elbrook last mm -hmm. year. That was your first uh, uh, first pro fight, yeah. or was it your first fight, full stop? That was my first fight. Um, my last two fights before that, I was meant to do Box Star, got cancelled after four weeks of training. Then I was meant to do Slow MMA, got cancelled ten weeks after training. Then I obviously took on the Elbrook fight with two weeks' notice. So yeah. that was the first, yeah. um, which was, do you know why? It, it is what it is. I took yeah. it on with two weeks' notice. I wasn't fit enough for it. I wasn't prepared for it because who is with two weeks' notice when you haven't been training, first of all, boxing and been training MMA, and secondly, haven't been in a fight camp because I've, I stopped training once Celeb MMA fell through. So, right. but I just took it because I was like, I'm going in and out of camps. I keep and fights keep getting cancelled. So why not just get that ring experience, see what it's all, what, what it's all about, yeah. and yeah, and here we are. So I enjoyed it. Yeah. Loved it. Even though I got a loss, I don't really count that one on my record, Pierre. Oh really? <laughs> well, who counts a, a fight you took on with two weeks' notice? Mm. It's not really. I don't really think. I mean, I know I was getting in the ring, but yeah, yeah I was like, do you know what? Every, uh, any fight after that now, I won't be losing. Yeah. And I can guarantee that. Okay. Strong, strong words already. From Kingpin, obviously, you know, you've been training with Luke Gross for a long time. Yeah. Uh, you had uh, you had a fight, uh, what was it, with Rage, yeah. that you won, uh, won the championship. Yeah. Um, you know, what have been the major improvements without giving too much away, I guess? Like, for you, like, as far as a mental, a physical, because obviously Kingpin was your first yeah. uh, go at it. And obviously now you're in a position that you're fighting for the flyweight championship. Yeah. So from then till now, like how mentally and physically have you been preparing on yourself? Oh my God, everything is, like from Kingpin to now. I mean, I had I got what the best I could get in that time. I really I like, respect to Jordan Reynolds for giving like doing the two weeks of training he did with me. But now I'm a completely different fighter. I've got my mindset is that before I was, I was very scared to get hit. Now I'm like I don't care about getting my hands dirty. Right. I don't care about getting hit in the face. Um, I want to win, and I will I will pull someone through the trenches to get that win so um, I think I've got just a bit more grit about me now and um, and then all in all like just all around improvements in terms of fitness and mindset and just yeah I just love it I love it when I'm not training boxing I, I miss it so much so it's just become my life now and then obviously you're going for the championship mm -hmm. obviously it's uh, you know for both you and Astrid yeah. it's, a, it's a great opportunity um, when you got the call to say that, that you're, that's what's going to happen, like what was you initially thinking? Obviously, a championship is on the line for one of you girls to win it. You won Astrid. So how did you initially think when you were called up for it? Do you know what? So I originally wanted this to happen. So um, obviously, I was meant to fight on Misfits 2. And the, the winner was meant to take out the winner yeah. out of Astrid and Keeley. So once I knew who won out Astrid and Keeley, whoever it was, I was going to take on. And I wanted to fight for about because I would have had a win they would have had a win so it just made sense to but I mean 
I don't feel more pressured. Like, if anything, it makes me want to. It makes me more hungry because I know there's a belt, and I'll, our strap season is calling me, baby. I want it. I want to say that I've got a belt already at home. I want another one on the other side, and the like a misfits belt. Like that's. I think that's a pinnacle. Like that's one of the. Don't get better than that yeah. in terms of like crossover boxing. So. Well, a bit of a controversial question, because I spoke to Elle a few days ago, um, you know, so we're cool, like, we, you know, we always do interviews. And I asked her about, obviously, you, you two are fighting, um, and obviously the championship's on the line. And she was saying, I don't really give a shit if uh, I'm the first one to go for the belt. And obviously, you know, you two are going for the belt. Um, she does it, She's not bitter, by the way, in terms of going for the championship. She feels that she wants to build on more yeah. before she gets to the championship. And obviously, you guys have got, like, a, a championship on the line straight away so how do you feel in terms of you do you feel that you wanted to prove more before going for a championship or is it just like the opportunity is there I'm going to take it well this will be my third fight now and I think after the first one it's like if the opportunity is there then why not take it and then it makes it it makes it more of a, something to fight for when you're defending a title you're going to be more hungry and the challenges are going to be like well there's actually a title there yeah. so I think it makes the fights more interesting so I think she was just bitter <laughs> I think she said she wasn't, but she was. Well, I mean, I, I like I like everyone. I'm going to be neutral about this, no, no, but yeah, we, 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 obviously you got to respect no. everybody. But <laughs> I, I, yeah, I love no. everyone. So. I think anyone who says that they, they don't want to fight for a title or don't want to take a strap home or uh, a belt home with them is lying. Because who doesn't yeah. want a belt? Yeah. With them. Like who doesn't want to have a belt over their shoulder? No, I, I don't. I don't think she was saying she doesn't want to go for the championship. She just now. wanted to to build before she gets to a oh, championship. Yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously, you guys, yeah. you got the opportunity. That's what her point was. It oh, wasn't yeah. about not wanting the belt. Yeah. It just more so wanted to prove her, prove her worth. So, but then she's doing the tournament. So, and that's that's true. So that's out of bullshit because you're doing a tournament where you get. It, it, that's exactly the same thing, really. So. Fair news. And, uh, and uh, obviously, you know, we've just seen you train in the ring. Um, you know, you look ready. I can, even from the videos I've been seeing you, you look ready as well. Um, so how are you preparing for Astrid? Because obviously you, you, the digital face off, she's saying she's the queen of this. And you're saying, like, I'm taking the crown away from you. So, you know, what, what are you preparing for for this Saturday? Um, I'm preparing for her one-twos, her footwork. I think she's going to be really fit. Right. She's very composed, so I think it's one of those fights where, you know, it's, I've just got, I've got to be fitter than her. I've got to be faster than her, and I, I have no doubts that I'm going to bring all of those on fight night. Well, we know the Filipino fire is going to be in effect come Saturday. <laughs> AJ Bunker, it's been an absolute pleasure, and uh, yeah, so... <laughs> And uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is just a friendly hug. I don't want people in the blogs now saying I'm doing. No, I'm joking. It's all good. No. But AJ, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I uh, wish you all the best for Saturday.